Hi fitness friends, today we have a plyometric and lower body workout to do. For this workout, I'll be using my plyo box set at 24 inches. I'll be using my barbell, uh, my kettlebells, and maybe even a dumbbell for like the very last move in the workout. So grab your equipment that you have. If you don't have something that you can safely jump on for box jumps, you certainly can still do this workout. You're just gonna have to pick a different plyometric move other than box jumps, okay? Um, star jumps, squat jumps, roll back star jump, anything that you wanna do to challenge yourself would be absolutely fine. And that also goes for if you're feeling not as confident as you want to be for box jumps. Don't do a jump if you're not confident that you're going to do it. We don't want any plyometric box jump injuries. They are not fun, okay? Um, I have a Tabata pair that I'm starting with and I am going to use that as my warm-up. If you need more than a Tabata pair for a warm-up, please push pause and get it done and I will see you for this workout in just a minute. All right, guys, I'm going to hit start right away on our Tabata pair warm-up. We're starting off with skaters and the second move that we're going to be doing is a rollback to a kettlebell deadlift, okay? So 10 second countdown is on. Get into that nice curtsy lunge position, touch down at your toe. Make sure you start to breathe. Two, one. That's really loud today, so I'm gonna turn that down as soon as this interval's over. <laughs> last four minutes. Turn that down a little bit. Stretch it out, reach it up, grab your kettlebell, get a roll back. Make sure you're right above that kettlebell for the deadlift. Sink deep into that curtsy lunge and that skater. Two and one. Roll backs again. Skaters, let's go. It is another rainy, gloomy day here. So turn on some bright lights, put on some bright clothes, Get that good feelings going. Here we go. Roll backs. Deadlift. Nice job. Skaters, final round. Three. Final round for the roll back deadlifts. And 
and that is the end of that. All right, sit down that kettlebell. We're gonna move straight on to our first superset. This superset, I'm going to be using my barbell for. It is a back load squat and then deadlifts. We are doing them 12 reps to two reps, evens only, okay? So go back and forth, getting um, less reps. So if you want to take the time to increase your weight and make it a progressive overloaded set, go for it, okay? I'm sticking with the same weight and getting through that pyramid. So let me get up to my shoulders. You've got 12 squats to start. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Bring it down. You've got 12 deadlifts. Weight is right next to your legs. Hands are right down from your shoulders. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Drop it down. You've got ten reps. Squats. Loading up. Get a nice deep squat here. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Unload. Ten deadlifts. How you guys doing? Stay a minute. It's gonna get easier, I promise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It down. We're down to eight reps. Okay, so eight squats. Take a breather. Deep breath in. Let it out. Load up that weight. We've got eight. One. Two. Keep your weight in your heels. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight deadlifts. Let's get them. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We are already down to six reps. So this is where it starts to cruise really fast. <laughs> it feels a little bit easier. Load up that weight. Six squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six. Unload. Six deadlifts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only have round four and round two left. Here we go. Loading it up, four squats. One, two, three, four. Four deadlifts. One, two, three, four. Loading it right back up. Two squats. One, two, two deadlifts. One, two. Nice work. Get that barbell out of your way for the next set. Our next set is five times through, 10 reps a piece. We're doing box jumps and swings. I know, I know. Let's just not think about it too much and let's do it. Remember, if you don't like box jumps or if you're not feeling them today, please don't do them. You got your shark? You got your shark? Okay. Come on, I'll help you. All right, guys, I'm gonna get started right away. Let's go, 10 box jumps. I like to stand up and step down. Please do them how you feel comfortable, okay? Starting off with those box jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten more swings. 
swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it down. You're up to round four already. Told you this would go fast. Let's go. One. Unload. Drop it down. 
take 20 seconds here. Take as long as you want in between these rounds. Whatever you need to recuperate, to feel strong and ready for your next set is what I want you to do. So if that means pushing pause, please push pause. Okay. I'm going for round two. Front load static lunges. Five per lunge. Load it up. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Switch it up and over. Alternating for ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Unload. Halfway done with this pair. Guys, I will say this. As we go through this workout, the reps and the rounds get shorter for the box show rounds, okay? So do not fear them. Take a deep breath. Let it out. Let's go. Load it up. Five static lunges per leg. One. Two, three, four, five. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. Up and over. Ten lunges, alternating. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're on to your final round in this set. Seems like a lot of lunges, seems like a long time to carry that weight, but I know you can do it. Have faith in yourself. Talk to yourself in your head as if you were your best friend, okay? Treat yourself that well. Let's go. You'd never tell your best friend she can't do it, right? Static lunge. Five reps. One, two, three, four. Five, step it up, switch sides. One, two, three, four, five. Up and over, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, big steps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Nice work. I'm so proud of you. Get that barbell out of your way. Get your kettlebell ready and your plyo box if you're using one ready. We got another round of box jumps and a kettlebell move. So this is a box jump and kettlebell squat superset. Doing eight reps of each move, but you're only going through it four times this round, okay? Get yourself ready. If you've never box jump before you're ready, I'm gonna start right into it. Eight reps. One. 
two, three, four, other leg for me, five, six, seven, eight. All right, eight kettlebell squats. So, goblet or between your legs, your choice. I'm going between my legs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop it down. Round one is done. Going straight on around two, box jumps for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Eight more squats. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice work. Halfway done with this plyo set. We've got two more rounds. I'm getting on it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Spots. Guys, if you're starting to feel fatigue, give yourself an option. Think of something else to do, whether that be pile and move on the ground or step ups, okay? Make that choice, train smart. One, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight. And don't get down on yourself because of it. Instead, be proud of yourself that you are here, that you're sweating, that you're putting the work in, and that you're smart enough to know when to change it up, okay? Eight more, let's go. Guys, if I were getting single box jumps, one of the moves I would probably do is a rocket step up. So I just put one foot up and rock it up for one, like that. Two. Okay, that's an option. One. Two. Three. Four. Other side for me. Five. Eight more squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop it down. Okay, next we have a hit set. For this hit set, there is four moves. You'll be doing 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Going through it three times total, we'll be doing a pistol squat, kettlebell deadlift, reset swing to hang clean, using kettlebell again, 
and then I'm going to use my barbell for alternating curtsy lunges with the calf raise in the center. So that's going to be a curtsy lunge, center, calf raise, down, curtsy lunge, okay? I'm going to set my timer, and we are going to go 30, 30, 10, that is 12 rounds total. Hitting start. If you can't do a pistol squat, you can do alternating lunges, you can do assisted pistol squats, you choose how you'd like to challenge yourself. You can do a staggered squat. I realize that this workout is not for everyone, okay? That means not everyone has an affinity for jumping up on a high box. Not everyone has an affinity for going down and deep in a single leg squat, and that is okay. We all are different and good at some things, better at others, but you are all here, and you're all doing your best, and you're all feeling good about it, okay? That's all I want. Kind of all deadlifts. So the weight's still right underneath your shoulders, coming right up your body, down and up, squeezing those glutes each round, pulling up with those hamstrings and glutes. Squeezing, but keeping your body in a neutral alignment. Three, two, and one. Okay, so reset swing. Then you're gonna hop yourself up to the over top of that kettlebell for a hand clean. So reset swing first. All the way down, hop it up, hang clean. Drop it down, hop it back, reset. Don't forget that hop back. Don't ever start a swing unless you're in a swing position. The barbell, alternating curtsy lunges, and half raise. Open it up, start it. Always take the time to load up your weights safely. I'd rather you start an interval late than injure yourself. Squeeze those calves. Get nice deep lunges. Unload. You're back to the alternating pistols. Let's go. Balance, control. You're not going for speed. Keeping your weight in your heel. Some people find that it's easier to counterbalance with a light weight in their hands for these. You can also use a wall for balance, a chair, a TRX if you have one. Some people like to hold their toe. I do not because I'm not that flexible. <laughs> Kettlebell deadlifts. Round two. Back to the center here. Let's go. Squeeze at the top but don't hinge forward, just squeeze. Three, two, and one. All right, you have the reset swing to hang clean. So again, the bell's out in front of you. Start with that swing. Hop it up, hang clean. Bring it down, hop back, reset. Work. Get that kettlebell out of your way. Load 
it up for your curtsies and calf raises. Let's go. Nice deep curtsy lunge. Calf raise in the center. Breathe it out. Slow and controlled. Yes, these are hit time intervals, but it's the weight that's making this high intensity, not necessarily the speed of your moves. All right, pistols.
One, two, three, four, five, six. Setting that weight out of your way. You've got six more box jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, single leg deadlifts, six per leg. Guys, if you don't like to raise your leg up behind you for the deadlifts, then don't do it. You can simply just put your toe on the ground and do what's called a kickstand deadlift, okay? I'm going to this leg again first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch sides. Starting at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is it, your final round in this workout. Let's go, box jumps for six. One, Two, three, four, five, six. Nice work. Six single leg deadlifts per leg. Finish this off. Slow and controlled. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Other leg. You need it. Stay focused. Keep these reps clean. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Nice work. Putting this weight right out of the way where it belongs. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was fast, it was efficient, it was sweaty, it was hard. Let me know how we all did. See you at the next workout.